Hey guys, dead and walk in here, uh, Dan. And uh, yeah, so I was talking to a couple friends on Facebook and they were liking some of the videos and usually after work, uh, if I do go and get food or go to Denny's and, uh, you know, if I go to Denny's, I'm going to play the claw machine, you know, you know no ifs or buts. I'll find some change. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this friend wanted to know some tips and tricks on how to actually win from the machines and you know a lot of people like to say oh it's rigged oh you'll never win I hear that all the time and I'm like excuse me I win all the time you might lose all the time but and a couple tips and uh and uh and just basically talk about it a little bit uh I'm not gonna do any videos I haven't done any filming yet you know I do filming once in a while but I'm going to I just it's hard to do at three in the morning after work and by myself but uh I will and uh, anyways, uh, let's get to talk about some plush that's easy to win. Um, stuff that you'll see in your local machines and stuff like that. And what you should do uh, to help your chances to actually winning more. Um, so, start off. Uh, let's talk about some easy stuff, some simple stuff. Um, uh, reindeers, you'll definitely find these since, uh, you know, December was just recently. Um, reindeers. Uh, You'll find them a lot of times. They'll be wedged in, let's say, with other plush around them. Only the head sticking out. Maybe the ass end of the the plush sticking out. Um, a lot of times, grabbing the head gives you a good chance to pulling it out of the area or just moving it. And you know, obviously, fifty cents. You're not a lot of times. You're not going to win a plush off of one try. You know, what I mean, um, you you can and you will, but. Um, a lot of times, with it's freshly stocked, it's going to be tightly. It's going to be wedged in there. You can go for what's gettable, laying there on top. Maybe what somebody else has gone for and then dropped and then gave up on. You, know I mean, those, those are always easier chances of winning for fifty cents or dollar. You know, dollar fifty. Um, that's about my average on most plush. Uh, you know, about dollar fifty. If I don't win it after a dollar fifty, I definitely really got to like it to spend more on it. But um, yeah, so yeah, get these things, lay them down. Lay them down, three, you know, claw's got three prongs, so obviously you want to look at your angles, look at your claw, pay attention to the wire, and, uh, you know, uh, after using it once or twice, pay attention to how the claw actually drops and rotates um, to see where those prongs actually go. So when you start looking at your plush and seeing uh, where to go for, you want to try to get as, uh, the claw to not touch it. The minimum amount of, of, of things in the claw machine or stab anything because that that's going to put the sensor off on the claw machine and it's going to make the claw want to close or stop from uh you know go back up you know what I mean and you know mess up your turn but uh yeah uh let's say with the, these plushes good way to grab them claw right here they're prong towards the butt it's a good one, hold them by the butt end, drop them in, sideways, same thing. Just got to look at the angles of your plush. Um, that one's pretty easy. Same thing with stuff like this. Um, big head, a lot of times you'll go for the head, try to grab it, and it will grab it and maybe pick it up and drop it, whatnot, you know what I mean? Probably because the PSI of the claw machine is uh, a little too low for uh, uh, how, how much it needs to pick up, you know plush like this because these things are actually pretty heavy these are some of the heavier plush but one thing uh, you can beat the payout rate or at least the uh, get a better grab on these things is if you can get them laid down or at least get them in the because they have guitars and they're sewn to the body so yeah I mean there's two little holes right there easily if you get a claw in there and it, it grabs it um, strong enough you know what I mean like a minimum grab it, it should be able to pick it up and carry it to the chute with no, no problem um, same with these ones, SN. You can also grab them, you know, get two prongs around the neck, one towards the, uh, the belly area, and, you know, or sideways. You can get one prong. I'm not trying to flip anybody off. One prong around this side, and then you get two on the other, uh, on one side. You know, that would grab a good grab, but that's another one. Um, these are the new uh, Valentine's Day plush you'll find in uh, the Denny's and probably Walmarts and stuff as well. Um, this is just one example of them. They all have a heart-shaped head of sorts, and um, the triangle shape of the prong actually works pretty good in your favor for grabbing a heart-shaped uh, plush. So actually, if these are sticking the head straight up, you know, if you get two prongs on the point of the top of the head and one on the bottom, 
some good leverage. I've actually ripped some of these out, but they're heavy. They're heavy, so your machine's definitely, hopefully it's uh, not super, super loose, you know, just to say. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, uh, one way I like to win these, and I win them all the time, super easy, if I can get them to flip them over upside down. There's little octopus-like legs almost like on their bottom, because uh, if you can get right in between these prongs and grab their neck, or even sideways, and get around the neck, grabs gets a good good grab on it and these things aren't gonna fall out so I, I really like these that's why I have so many <laughs> don't need any more oh the doodle jumps love these things they just came out with these things uh, in the machines too Sega um, played the game a couple times it's a little too too uh, boring for me but um, yeah these things uh, if you can get them laid down easy grab Get two prongs or one prong on uh, either side of the nose, maybe one down by the leg. It's definitely the right size for for the average size claw you find in a Denny's or a Walmart. And it would definitely get a nice grab on them. And once you got a little grab on these, because of how wide and flat they are, ain't going nowhere. Really like these ones. Um, actually, I've gotten a couple of them by the by the nose and the by the body. It just the claw grabbed. It's, hard enough that it actually pinched it and carried it to the to the chute. Um, here's another recent win, actually, uh, the Betty Boobs. I actually got a, a few of these. I got one a couple more the other night. Um, I was going for the Angel one, but uh, or the Cupid one, but uh, I ended up dead zoning her and <laughs> was not going to be doing any swing techniques to be able to get her out. It was not going to work. Uh, I tried, but it wasn't going to work. Um, same thing with these. Uh, you know, they're sewn up, the hands are sewn together to this heart. You can get the claw around that. Good, easy grab as long as the claw holds on to it. But these things are pretty heavy, so, you know, the neck, very skinny neck. You can get a good grab around the body. Hope you get a prong in between the arms, around the neck. That's a good, good, good grab if it uh, grabs tight enough. Head's perfect shape for a claw, so these things, uh, get them laid down or uh, upright. And your claw's uh, strong enough definitely be able to rip these out of the machine or uh, win these uh, successfully without having to spend too too much change, you know what I mean? Um, here's another one. It's kind of hard. You'll find these in your machine and they'll always be up in the corner. <laughs> or like, uh, you know, wedged in there somewhere. But if you can actually get them out and laid down, the claw is actually wide enough that you can actually get around half of uh, the uh, of the head. <clears throat> Or maybe even get it in the, the earring and carry that other shoe. This one actually, I won this one by uh, uh, when accidentally I, I picked it up first off, picked it up, started going towards the shoe and the claw, let it go. I, I just didn't have it well enough grabbed or whatnot, but uh, yeah. Um, but I ended up stabbing it and getting the claw inside the, the seam here. And just carried it by the tip of the claw on one on one tip claw and then dropped it in stoked because I was actually in the middle of talking to somebody about how uh, how I, I, I played these things and I win them and blah 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 and as I'm talking to her I just like grabbed it out of nowhere I wasn't even looking at the machine and won it but yeah and a lot of times the vendors they like to put these like big harder stuff uh, you know after they've been in the machine for a while they'll put them uh, close to the shoe and sometimes you can get lucky and Get a two in one uh, fin. Something else they had recently in the claw machines, and um, super hard to win. Can't grab it. Can't grab it anywhere. Uh, the only place wide enough or uh, even like big enough for the claw to even get around is the lower part of the body. But it's not enough to actually pick it up. You know, I mean, maybe if you got a, a claw that wasn't on super sensitive and this thing was squished a little bit, maybe I don't know. But usually, it's, it, you know, I won this one. It was by the shoot. We had to work it out. Me and my buddy played, and we probably spent several dollars on it and moved it. it came back a couple days later, still there, maybe moved a little bit. And I spent, what, probably like, I don't know, probably like five bucks and uh, worked it into the shoot. Yeah. It took a long time. You just got to work those legs. I just worked a bunch of angles and slowly moved it in, inch by inch, and then finally got my, what was it, Finn? Finn Frank. I can't remember his name. Oh yeah, it's Jake. Duh, Jake. All right, guys. Well, anyways, <clears throat> so I was talking about tips, 
uh, pay attention to the plus you're going for. Sometimes uh, what's what you want doesn't mean it's going to be gettable. Sometimes if you want to win from the machine, you just got to get go for what's there and easy to grab. Um, unless you're willing to spend a few bucks and hunt for it, like I do. I love to dig, so um, I pick one plush and I aim for that and I keep on working it until I got it in the shoe. But um, yeah, tips. Pay attention to your claw. Look at it. <clears throat> Pay attention uh, to how it rotates, uh, where the wire is set. Uh, so you can tell how when it drops, it's going to rotate, and that wire is going to line up with the other wire. Right? Um, try to uh, go for stuff that has uh, air underneath it, so when the claw drops, it doesn't stab anything or poke anything. Um, you want to basically try to get the claws to where... Uh, a lot of times the claws will actually close as they go up slightly. So try to go as deep onto um, the prize that you're going for and more likely you'll have more success. So hopefully some of these tips will help. Uh, like I said, I'll be posting some videos here soon. Just don't have time. Like I said, I got, got a new baby and don't get out very often. I only got a few few, uh, few minutes after work every, uh, every morning. So... Keep watching, like, subscribe, and I'll love to make more videos. Thanks, guys.